everybody, welcome back to my channel. One of the most asked questions I get from you guys is how much should I be paying for this grocery item or how much should I be paying for this grocery item? So I wanted to share another Price is Right game with you guys, except this time it is about grocery prices and I think they're definitely gonna surprise you. Some of you guys might do really good, some of you guys might completely bomb, but it doesn't matter and I don't want you to feel bad if you don't do well because um, I want you guys to know your prices so you guys can save money every single time you go to the grocery store. This video is from my recent appearance on ABC's Good Things Utah, so let's head over and watch that. There's gonna be a grocery gift card involved too, so make sure that you play along. Malia Johnson is here from The Malia Show, and we're talking grocery store prices, and she's going to test my knowledge. Yes. I thought you were giving me a price first, and then I'm guessing, but oh, I'm no, just that's making too one easy. up. Way okay. too easy. Okay. So right. basically what we're going to do is we're going to go over like the prices that you should buy if these items are this price at the store. Okay. They're like the, the really good price. Okay. So I'm going to have you guess what you think that price is or what that range is, and then I'll show you what the price is that you should be waiting to purchase that product at. Okay. It gets a little tricky. Okay. And just so everyone knows at home, things get a little crazier when we get into organic or all natural or grass fed. Okay. We're not doing that. We're doing just regular grocery products that most families purchase. Okay. Let's okay, start. Okay, so let's start with cereal. Cereal, what is the price that you shouldn't spend more than for cereal? Gosh, some cereal can be expensive. Yes, so there um, is a buy it price for this. Wh how, I sh what I shouldn't pay more than? Yeah, so just pick a number. See, I would say that's going to be like $4 and something. Okay, so regular price is $4. I don't spend more than $2 for a box about? of how? cereal. How though? So every store, Smith's, all the Kroger stores, Walmart, Target, they all do this. It's when you figure out this is an 11 ounce box. So no more than two dollars for eleven ounce box. A lot of times they're on sale for a dollar fifty. Wow, um, so, and that's and then, the biggie. And this is the Costco box, so I just divide it out by eleven ounces. So then I figure out if it really is close oh, to two dollars per box for smart. eleven ounces. Okay. So sometimes Costco has some really great deals too. Okay. So Costco cereal, yes. Yes. You just have to do a little bit of math. Okay. Okay. So now we're going on to chicken. <laughs> chicken breasts are kind of crazy because you would think they'd be a lot more expensive than what people really should be paying for them. So for, okay. So this is this big bag of chicken breasts. Just that I'm per just per per pound. Per pound. Because uh, that's how they usually are measured. I would say three something. Okay. Don't buy them unless they're $1.99 per pound. What are you talking pound. about? Am I getting that? This Where? happens all of the time it on does? a regular basis. And a lot of moms are just like, oh, I need chicken, and they grab it. But if you wait, sometimes I've seen it for like $1.69 for boneless, skinless chicken breasts at the grocery store. So... Just a heads up on Goodness, that too. Yes, I'm spending too much. <laughs> yes, and most moms are. That's why we love this segment because I want to show people what regular prices are at grocery stores and then how sometimes they like to trick you. And what we should be doing. Yeah, okay. so paper towels. Uh -oh. Let's do that one next. So I'm a tiny, tiny bit of a um, paper towel snob. Okay. And I like the Viva one. Yes. So they might, you might pay more like, for the I ones mean, you like. I mean, it's almost like I can pull it out and it's like a blanket for yes. children. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what would, what should you pay? Not more than. Um, okay, for not, not more than something per roll. Oh, per roll. Per roll. Gosh, I'm thinking of the six. Because sometimes they come in eight. Sometimes they come in I 12. Know. So you got to go per roll. Two bucks. A dollar. I Don't spend close. more Darn than it. a dollar per roll. Okay. Which sounds a little crazy. It used to be 25 cents per roll just a few years ago. Goodness. So and paper towels are yes, on the rise. Yes. Okay. And the next thing we want to talk about is cheese. This is eight ounces shredded, blocked, sliced. Okay. Um, three something. A dollar ninety nine. I am... Uh, really, a I mean, a lot of these things are in the dollar something range. And I range. usually wait till it's a dollar sixty-seven, but like right now, Smith's dollar ninety-nine. Um, I've seen it like every brand too. It's not just like this brand; it's every brand of, of cheese. This Eight is ounces. When you stock up on yeah, cheese. and you put it in your freezer, guys. It freezes so well. Does it really? Yeah, I've never done that. Okay, fruit snacks. Okay. Ten count boxes of fruit snacks. They can be regular fruit snacks. They can be kid fruit snacks. What I'm do you gonna think? go three something. You probably don't buy those anymore. I do. My kids do love you? them still. Okay, yeah. dollar fifty or less. Okay. Okay, and that happens a lot I'm too. The lamest. Ten counts. <laughs> I don't want to do this segment to make everyone feel like no, I they're love like it. I'm, lame. I'm getting but educated. I want you guys to like think of all the extra money you could be spending on other things. I know. You know, like go buy and get a coffee if you yes. like. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Or an iced tea. Okay. So cream of chicken soups or cream of mushroom soups. This one's a tricky one, and I wanted to share it because it's drastically different than what people think. Okay. I would say a <laughs> um, dollar fifty. Okay. So we have. 89 cents or less is the stock up price for the creams. In November, once we get into baking and like holiday season, yes. they go to 75 cents. And if you don't care about the Campbell's brand, you can get the store brand like Western Family for 49 cents. Oh my goodness. So, if okay, you don't we're care. almost out of time, so just tell what we're supposed to be paying for these. Okay, so apples, 
99 cents per pound. Yikes. Okay. Crazy. I, oh my gosh, but some of them can be so tricky. expensive. 99 cents a pound. And sometimes if they're out of season, $1.99 a pound. And don't ever spend more than that because some moms think, oh, the whole thing is $3.99 for the whole thing. It's not. It's per, it's not pound. per pound. And okay. the last thing is powdered sugar and brown sugar. 99 cents for a two pound bag. Oh my goodness. I I've know. been spending too much. You've I educated know. me. All right, how did you guys do? <laughs> did you guys completely blow it or did you guys do pretty good? Um, prices are different across the entire country, but these are prices and typical prices or ranges that you're going to see across the country no matter where you live. Um, in some states like New York, you might see a little bit higher prices, but it definitely gives you guys an idea of where to go, right? So right now, I want you guys to comment and tell me how you did. Did you get all of them right? Did you miss all of them? Comment below and tell me. Um, and one of you guys be entered to win a $50 grocery gift card. Since this giveaway is grocery related, it's gonna have to be in Canada or United States only um, in order to enter to win this giveaway. But uh, $50 to a grocery store is gonna be awesome, especially paired with all of these amazing price points for you guys, right? Um, one of the questions I always get asked is, do you have a list of all these prices somewhere? No, I don't. I wish I did. They're kind of just all in my head from the last eight years of couponing and saving money. Um, so if any of you guys want to volunteer to create some sort of spreadsheet for us based off, off the videos that I've done and the price points that I've shared, that would be awesome. So message me or comment below if you'd be willing to do that. Um, that would be awesome. And then I can share it with everybody in an upcoming video and on my other social media channels as well. All right, comment below and tell me how you did. Like this video and don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new. I want you guys to be part of our amazing Malia Show family and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.